this is the Crappie Connection brought to you by Redneck Rubber, Power Crappie, Visit Ridgeland, b and Poles, K-9 Fishing, Cornfield Fishing Gear, Bobby Garland Baits, Jenko Fishing, Denali Rods, The Direction TV, Top Hat Jigs, Crappie Magnet, Anderson Minnow Farm, Hook and Bullet Purpose Built Optics. What's up, guys? Brad Chapel back at the Crappie Expo 2022. 2022. So we've been doing this a little while now. Back in Branson. Yeah, got Todd at the end there. Got old Kevin Rogers. Old, washed up has been. <laughs> I don't know about that. You know, where well, you been at, Kevin? I've you know, been. good to back see you in this, this Crappie side yeah, of things. Yeah, you know how many times I've heard that this week? Man, Kevin's glad to have you back. I didn't quit Crappie fishing. Yeah. That's what people think. It's weird. Um, my dad was my partner for all them years. He's 79 years old. I Mr. mean, my, can you imagine being alive at 79? and started standing in a boat for eight hours, chasing my ADD all over the place, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, how, how's, how is Mr. Charlie? He's great. He, he came down for the dinner, so I made him come down. I was going to fish with me on the third day of the tournament if we made it. Top 25 go. Of course, we took 26th place, so he didn't have to go fishing today. So, um, yeah, fishing without my dad just didn't the same. Yeah, so it didn't feel didn't feel right. You know what I mean? I just that many years with the boat and him, I just it's not it's not as fun fishing without him. So I can see that. Yeah, um, I've always been a big bass guy. I always have been <coughs> through all those I knew it. Years. I yeah, knew it. I loved it. And um, he said, "I'm done." You know, when Live Scope came out, and he stood behind me for eight hours and watch me fish he's like i'm not doing this anymore i don't blame you these guys out here that stand all day long with the net or the remote control and don't fish hats off to them guys i agree i will not do it yeah i won't do it those guys are just as valuable as the guy fishing but i can't even ask someone to do that for me i would be fishing today if i had someone else in the boat right and i couldn't ask someone to stand there and watch me fish do you think it's need to go to just one person in the boat it's been saying it for 20 years Mm -hmm. I don't know why you have two guys in the boat. Yeah. What it, crappie fishing is not going to get big. We don't want to do what the bass guys do. Yes, you do. Yeah. They do it right. Yeah, I mean, guys are making a living bass fishing we're, for we're, a reason. We're, we're going to go down a rabbit hole here for oh. a minute, but you're right. I've been saying it for yes. 20 years. I'm like, th- this formula <clears throat> has never worked, but yet we're just going to stick with this formula. Right. And it's been proven because there's been huge companies that tried big bass team events doesn't work they're the big redfish team events and yeah. they they never made it long so i just one of the reasons i was late coming up here todd trying to get me up here i talked to the owner of all the tournament trails i don't know his name jackson whatever he's got a new tournament trail coming out next year the elites i was, I was interested what is it sign me up it's two guys per boat i'm out yeah no thank you that's not an elite that's not an elite series get one guy in a boat and let him go fish you don't need two people when you're live scoping. These guys can say whatever they want. You're fishing for one individual crappie now. You're putting the jig on his nose and you're catching. Two jigs can't go at the same time yeah. unless you're snagging him. I think it should be one person, but it's not going to be. And that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. I'll go bass fishing. <laughs> <laughs> what so, the, so through the last couple of years of bass fishing, you know, I, I follow your social. And the first year everybody you, does. you were very humbled and saying – I'm getting my butt kicked oh, by these guys. Horrible. It's brutal. Everything horrible. else, but now you're you're picking it up. Yeah. Are you learning stuff bass fishing that you think will help you in the future crappie fishing? No, absolutely not. Nope. 
No, it's two different sports. It's not even the same thing. Crappie fishing is simplistic and easy. It's simple. You turn the live scope on, you look for a crappie. Yeah. That's it. That's all you got to do. Bass is fish. that going to hurt the sport too? No. It's, I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, crappie are completely different. This tournament is going to be one in two arms. This lake is gigantic. It's going to be one in two arms. Every single tournament guy knew that before he came here. Right? It's going to be one up to James or the Kings. Dirtiest water on the entire lake is going to hold the biggest crappie. That's where you go. That's every lake we go to, right? You, yeah. you find the dam and crappie fishing, and you start as far away from it as you can. You work your way back. Yeah. <laughs> That's crappie fish. It's not bass fishing. Bass fishing could be one anywhere on the entire lake. It is to compare bass tournament fishing to crappie, it's not even the same ballpark. It's not even the same thing. Bass fishing is really, really hard, and you're competing against everybody. Here at this tournament, we were all competing against Hayden Jeffries. The end. That's it. The kid's going to win, right? He's going to win every tournament he gets in because he's, he's got the live scope figured out. It's different. Bass fishing, anyone can win on any given day. So it's a good question, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it has changed, and I think some of it's even the youth side of it. Oh. You know, the athletic and uh, hand-eye coordination is – Big. Yeah, and I said Hayden. I haven't even met Hayden Jeffries, right? But if you're you're watching this, you follow crappie fishing, and hopefully you follow tournament crappie fishing. Everyone knows who he is. Right? Yeah. Have you ever, you met the kid? Oh yeah. I've never met him. Don't know who he is. Uh, this week in practice, I stopped and watched him fish for the first time ever. I knew it was him because I saw his dad stand behind him with you know the the, yeah. the, the live scope guy. He can call him right. This just stands there and doesn't get to do anything. Horrible job. But I watched this kid, and I'm like, he's gonna win tournament. Period. End of story. I mean, it's just, it's a machine, right? I'm so, I can read my live scope. I know what a crappie is. I know what a gar is. I know what a drum is. I know what a bass is. I can't do it fast enough. You yeah. just said high eye hand coordination. Yep. He is pitching that jig out, and that jig is landing on their nose. Yeah. And I'm doing four or five times. Right. right? I go, oh, I crashed the bang, and I missed him by 10 feet to the right or left. No, he's putting it on his nose every time. Yeah. You've seen the the Josh Joneses, the Matthew Rogers, these guys come out, and they're just – Ah, hand coordination. Boom, boom, and I'm – I know what a crappie is. I've caught millions of them. How many crappie have we caught in our lives? I can't fish fast enough yep. live scoping my whole career, and the only reason I was any good at crappie fishing is because I was fast. Yeah. <laughs> And, and, now and, I, and now you're slow. And now I'm slow as can be yeah. because well, of the live scope. You know, we had Paulo Beer in here earlier, and he was talking about it. And I said, what it is is that your processor isn't as fast Not as even the processor in that live scope. I, I used to be the Hayden Jeffries, and not, I'm not anymore. I'm out there like the old man, and I'm pitching four or five times. Like, gosh, dang it, well, he's on the other <laughs> yeah. side of the tree. Yeah. Right? Well, I can't win. I can't compete. Yeah. I'll never win another crappie tournament ever again. Yeah. Period. I just won't. Now, is I'm going to fish them? Of course. I love it. I love crowded fish. I can't compete with that. Yeah. And that's the that's a sad thing when you're my age. Like, oh, geez, it's done. And it is. It's done, which is fine. I knew the same thing. Yeah, I'm done. There's no way I'm ever going to win again. Yeah. I've won 34 crappie tournaments in five different states. That's over. Yeah. <laughs> it's done. Uh, I'm going to still try because I love it. You know, because I love crappie fish and I love competing. But, yeah, there's, I cannot. First of all, i got a full-time job. Right, I, if I was on the water every day for seven days a week looking at them, I probably still couldn't beat these kids because of youth. At some point, yeah. I'm 50 and they're 20 and they're gonna whoop my butt, and they are. It's yeah. just what it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's yeah. a bold statement, but it, I think that's. Oh, I mean, we used to do seminars all the so time. Good. I used to do these seminars, and I know oh, you go big and you get this big lure and yeah. you go fat. Th What's a seminar now? Why do we have crappie seminars? Turn the live scope on. The end of story. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. Make sure it's on. Turn the power. <laughs> right. I know, make, sure, it, make sure you've got enough voltage. Uh, yeah, make to sure mask, your batteries last are good. All day. Get, you, get you some Pro Guide batteries. It's a horrible <laughs> plug. Get you some lithium <laughs> batteries. They're worth it. Yeah. And uh, go fishing. And I can't believe I didn't see it coming. I didn't see this huge change in the crappie industry coming like it has. Did you see it? No. I had no idea. The first time I saw it, um, was fishing a classic at Truman Lake with little Matthew Rogers, and he had mm -hmm. the old school. Yeah, pent optics. Old, so, yeah. yeah, and he goes, Kevin, you're fishing that steak bed. There's four crappie in it. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Okay, bud. Sure, there is. I leave it. He comes over. One, two, three, four. And I said, this, this, something just changed. And he won that classic. Yeah. And then it just boomed from there. And I'm like, oh, this whole world just changed. It did. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, the last crappie tournament I won was with my wife, who's sitting over here, and we won at Lake of the Pines. And I had live scope, and I turned it off, and I old schooled fish because I didn't even know how to use it. That was the last tournament we'll ever win. <laughs> so, I, I, it's amazing to me how how it's come. And by no means, I'm not Randy Blockett or one of these guys bashing on. No, it's amazing. I just need to be realistic about who I am and what I'm going to do with it. I'm not banning. I think keep going. I have a headset. I don't care. I'm just. <laughs> I just know that I can't compete with these young kids anymore. That doesn't. Have, that doesn't take any of the passion the way I have for catching. I caught, yeah, uh, like the seventh largest bag yesterday in the whole tournament. It was awesome. I loved it. I just know that I have no way I can compete with those guys. Is that, is that oh, yeah. is that some real? No, is that the uh, truth serum. That's the truth. That's, that's straight yeah. up. Yeah, I'm going to say in line, uh, used to be one of the best tournament fishermen in the world. Yeah, 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, Jimmy Houston's not the best bass fisherman anymore either, right? Or Rolla Martin or Bill. Day. I mean, that's what happens. So, here comes a new crop, and then they're coming. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. they're here. Know, <laughs> earlier, we were just talking to Jerry Hancock and Paulo <laughs> Beer. Legends. Two, Legends. That won this two years yeah. ago. And they said, the they, I think we're done. Oh, of course. We're done. They yeah. said we, we've been past. I would up. like to hear what Ronnie Caps has to say. Hopefully, he'll be on here. Oh, let's get him on. The greatest crab fisherman of all time. What's his? What's he? What, is he saying anything? I'm, I'm saying. I don't know. Right. Yeah. We're done. Oh yeah. We're ass pits. You know, <laughs> I've actually known Hayden yeah. a while. Uh, he worked for me in my other business. For, oh, he did. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. And you know, I spent quite a few hours with him before he ever fished the tournament in Magnolia Crappie Club. Right. his first tournament <laughs> i told those guys before he ever entered and you know I, i'm not pumping hayden and i'm not hating I, I love the kid and i always say that um young man um mm-hmm. i knew somebody was coming on that was going to dominate and yeah. i told those guys it was going to happen and they said are you sure and i said i've been in the boat with him already oh, you saw it i saw yeah, it yeah yeah it's different and, you know <laughs> And he's he's very good, and he's he's got a lot of things going for him when it comes to this this tournament side of things. Uh, he's he's a good person as well. Great family, good for the sport. Absolutely, uh, new blood, new everything, and uh, it, it's cool to watch. It's cool to watch how much crappie fishing has changed, and I think it's still got some changing to do. Whether uh, it's good for the tournament side of things who knows yet i mean everything changes and, and keeps evolving and uh so has a sport and so have we yeah <laughs> and just like kevin has i mean one, one, let's, and let's make sure we're clear too um you can love crappie fishing and yep. not have life scope yep you can still throw yep. a bobber and a minnow yep. or long line or troll you can still yep. do all of that yep i can still go jig trees on truman lake with no electronics i have a boat that has no electronics on it that I get as much joy out of as I do my bass cat with the twenty thousand dollars of electronics. Yeah. Fishing is still fishing, but we're talking about tournament fishing. This changed it more than I even I, I didn't even know it was coming like would, this. Would you like to see a trail that went no. old school? No. I wouldn't. No. I'm not that guy. We we'll keep moving forward, right? I'm keep moving forward, keep progressing, that's fine. Yeah, I don't care. It'll never hit. I think someone's trying to start one i don't think it's, it's not going to work it's not going to work i mean how are you going to get sponsors if you ban electronics well not banning electronics banning forward facing nah, i won't fish it <laughs> I, won't, I won't fish it no if i want to win i want to beat aiden jeffries yeah if i'm not beating aiden jeffries i don't want to fish right i mean why well it's there use it i mean i you know you know, 40 years ago, there was some old men sitting in a coffee shop complaining about the flashers. Oh, yeah. Or whatever, that, or when the Lorance came Spider out. Spider Oh, my gosh. But I hated it. Yeah. Right? Then I got really good at it. Yeah. And then it went away. <laughs> and then life scope <laughs> came out. I mean, you just got to keep evolving. That's what we do as humans, just keep evolving. On the tournament side of it. Yeah. Like, you can fish out of an aluminum boat with a 9.9 and have just as much fun as you can a big boat. That fishing is fun. That's why we all do this, right? Tournament fishing's fun. So... But I did not see this whole shift coming. I mean, you take the greatest crappie fisherman that has ever lived on planet Earth and Caps and Coleman, they haven't won a tournament since it came out. I mean, they're just, it's being dominated by kids that weren't even born when we were winning tournaments, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's just, that's what it's going to be. But you still, 
with all that, you still, and people, well, it's just like, no, these kids still gotta learn how to go find the fish, know where the big ones live. There's still, it's more than just turning on live scope and them really good. They gotta be good fishermen too. Yeah. 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 I don't want to take nothing away from them. Oh, no, I don't absolutely. want to sound like the, the curmudgeon, the old man that's grumpy about life. Yeah. I'm not. I love it. I've, yeah. I've taken it to the bad side, and I've won $35,000 this year all because of life so, Is it as dominating in the bad side no, of things? It is absolutely grumpy. not. No. I'm telling you, on the Elite Series, the best bass fish in the world, only half of them are using it. I'm telling you that. Why, not, why? Because – because bass aren't always suspended eight foot down swimming across the water like this where you can put your jig in their face. Mm -hmm. They're on the top. They're on the bottom. They're constantly moving. It's not as dominant. I mean, if you look at the guys, I think Michael Neal just won Angler of the Year in one of the bass in the, in the FLW, and he went through his the live scope. Yes. Nope, top water. I mean, he went through. It was half and half, so it didn't dominate. Um, I've gotten four checks out of – or yeah, three checks out of five this year in the big tournament trails I'm fishing the best side. The three checks I got were all live scope. The two I didn't, no live scope. So, but, so I know what I need to do in the bass world. It has, I have to be using my live scope to catch bass. So I'm all for it. What do you do different when it comes to bass fishing, when it comes to the, the live zone or the? I'm constantly looking for them. Just moving faster than you yeah, are yeah, crappie yeah. fishing? Yeah, it's a lot faster. But bass don't just sit there. They're not just yeah. – they're constantly – if you see them on live scope, you see a school of bass, you're like, oh, wow, those are – I mean, crappie is just this big glowing blob, right? Like football. A, yeah, just a football. These mm -hmm. bass are long and, and they're moving. They're constantly moving. you got to be on it. On it. It's different. It's a totally different game. Hmm. So, yeah, I know half the crappie world is hated – they hate me because I went bass fishing. And, and uh, it's funny because who cares, right? It's all fishing. Um, and I'm doing it to keep learning. I want to grow as a yeah. human being, right? Crappie fishing now is it's it's pretty simplistic. And what I mean by that, you can be a kid that never crappie fished three years ago, and now you can be the greatest crappie fisherman in the world. That didn't happen before live scope. You had to have the knowledge of where they lived, that you fall in, all this stuff. That stuff's gone. Yeah. So it's easy. Seasonal patterns and yeah, they, you still got to know something. Oh yeah, you got to have a fit, you got to be guy. a fisherman. Yeah, you um, you got to be able to read the lake and the contours and know where they are and all that for sure. Yeah, but it's it's different. It's just easier. Yeah. So it's like I'm bashing on life. Does it sound like I'm bashing on life? No, you're actually taking up for it more than most. I am. I think. I mean, you got to. It's yeah. not going away, guys. It's right. going to get better oh, and yeah. better and better, and we're going to sit back and pout and no yeah, yeah that's try right. to get try to keep up well i mean it's like yeah. people that never accepted a smartphone yeah, yeah. as a flip phone so. <laughs> and and, and right. yeah, yeah there, there, there was a lot of those people yeah. that were like i'm not getting one of those uh, shauna still got a typewriter <laughs> <laughs> yeah i saw the little i saw right. that look yeah, you, i mean what what are we doing it's mm -hmm. coming yeah keep up with it right yeah, just just know what you are i'm i'll be really good at 26th place <laughs> yeah, have a good time. Well, I mean, there's still a lot of anglers that would have swatched, switched places with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's I think it's amazing watching these kids that never have crappie fish come out and just explode like this. I think you know it took a couple of years, but I think it's been really defined down even on the equipment side of things. From you know having the brakes on the back of the boat oh, to slow it down. Uh, you know, it's all these keys that these guys have really thought about right. in details to get them to where they are and, and uh, strategies on how to how to win tournaments and it's changed a lot of things in the crappie side of things when it comes it's still you know listic is still a key to it but they have taken it to another level even on boat rigging i mean yeah. it, it's dual I mean, mounts and if you have told me 10 years ago tournaments were going to be won Crappie turns are gonna be one with two guys in a boat. One pole. And one of them never fished. Was never gonna fish? I'll yeah. tell you that guy's an idiot. And yeah. what was he in the boat for? And right. now it is a must. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have been fishing today if I'd had two guys in the boat yesterday. For nothing right, just tying my rigs up when I break off or yeah. culling the fish for me or whatever. And I didn't have that because I don't want to ask anyone to do that. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's different. These guys got it figured out. Would so, you uh, put car crappie brakes or those two trolling motors? Do you think it would have no. helped? Would it helped you any? No, I'm not no. doing it. That's ridiculous. I'm not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. 
but they're going to win 100,000. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pull up to a bass turn with two troll motors on the back of my boat. You'd be embarrassed, huh? <laughs> and laugh me out of the parking lot. <laughs> that would be funny. That'd almost be worth yeah. me paying to have mm-hmm. done to your boat while you right. didn't know about it. No, I get it. I understand it. Yeah. Yeah. If I was doing it full time, probably. Right. Like the paddles and all that. And yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I still want to go fast. So. <laughs> well, Kevin, you're always entertaining when we get you on here. Yeah. I've been waiting a while. Been looking for you. Yeah. Glad I'm to see here. you back. I'm right? here. I've heard that all week long, and I, I, never, I didn't leave. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. And people got to understand when you, for 30 years fishing my dad, it's just not the same. Yeah. It isn't the same. So. Hey, he's a definitely icon in my eyes when it comes to sport. Yeah. Great human being, great yeah. person. I'd like to see him again. Tell Charlie I said, hey. He was here. I made him come. I, came, I yeah. can't believe I missed him. Yeah, he was here for the dinner. So. Yeah. Um, here for the food yeah yeah and I, I will fish i want to fish some more crappie terms it's got a line with what i'm doing yeah i'm gonna get i'm getting old i'm 50 so my body's breaking down bad so i want to do this bad this bass thing is is eating on you man it well it's a lot of work yeah i mean it's exhausting um it's a go 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 but I just, it's you know I what i see do. in bass field though uh, the same token is a lot of these younger guys are really dominating it as well they can um uh, it not, I mean, I don't think as much as the crappie world. If you do the actual math of the right. winners on these big circuits, I think the old guys still carry their weight. The cool thing about bass fishing to me is you can catch them multiple different right. ways. And that's last year when I started the bass fishing world. I didn't know what I was. Yeah. I didn't know if I was a finesse guy or a power. F- I didn't know anything. I just thought I had all these rods out and I'm just yeah. fishing. I'm like, okay, I got to quit that. And I got to find these things on my live scope. And I throw a jerk bait, 90% of all the tournaments, the suspended jerk bait down in the bass and watch them hit it, and that's how I can do good. <laughs> so I'm learning. So don't hate me because I went don't hate me because I went bass fishing. <laughs> I'm still a crappy fisherman at heart. I still love it. I'll do it all winter long. I'll be in Texas all winter using live scope down at Lake of the Pines on Lake Ford. So we're cool. Until yeah. next time, Kevin, I'll see you again. Well, thank bro. you guys for having me. Thank you. I hope I didn't sound like an old curmudgeon about live scope. Oh, definitely not. Oh yeah. no. All right. Awesome. Till next time, Thank got Kevin guys. Rogers. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks sir. Yep. Holla. Out of my front, big muddy river, a place I'll always remember. Cabin on the lake and a fishing pole. Forever here, I'll rest my soul. I can feel my worries drift away.